This is Brent with Likens Motorsports. Sometimes uh, when I find myself uh, in a little bit of a lull in between builds or waiting on parts or whatever, um, I'll look down the line and see what I can be doing uh, to, I guess, help myself out in the future. <clears throat> this build is uh, one that we have coming down the pipe and it is our uh, 370 cubic inch small block Ford tunnel port race engine. So uh, we are a little bit away from uh, starting this build. Uh, the block isn't anywhere near uh, in the queue to be machined, but uh, I do have uh, between this build and another build, I have some uh, needs for some calico coated honda raw journal bearings so uh what i'm doing is like i said i try to see if i can knock something out and help myself out further down the road and um i'm gonna go ahead <clears throat> and check a couple bearing clearances on on this build uh just to so just so i can see which bearings that i will need and i can go ahead and get those ordered and on the shelf, uh, sometimes bearings are hard to get a hold of. So I try to knock this stuff out preemptively so I don't uh, hurt myself down the road. But this is a Bryant crank. It is a custom billet crankshaft and it's been rim polished. Uh, I think I've featured this in the past. Uh, just mirror mirror finish on, on pretty much everything. Uh, very expensive, very high dollar, very high strength uh, application. The rods that we're gonna use are these Dyer's rods. These are 5400 in length with a Honda rod journal size. They come with 7 16 ARP 2000 bolts. And um, Dyer's spec a, a torque spec of between 60 and 70 pound feet and we're aiming to stretch the bolt five thousandths to five thousandths and four tenths so uh, i've got one rod in my uh, rod fixture and what we're going to do is we're going to break that apart and we're going to mic one of these rod journals and we're going to check uh, the bearing clearance so i can uh, get those bearings queued up and ordered and i'm going to show you uh it's a pretty broad torque spec so what we're going to do we're going to start on the low end with our torque uh, and we're going to measure the stretch with an arp uh, stretch gauge when you start building some higher end stuff um, the rods uh, depending on the manufacturer will require different rod specs or rod torque specs some will be in pound feet a lot of uh the scat uh, rods will come in pound feet and some of your aluminum rods will do that. Um, some of your higher end bolts will show uh, a torque angle. So a, like a, a 30 pound feet plus 60 degrees or something like that. Uh, these particular rods want to stretch. All right, so we got a rod knocked apart. These are very, very high quality rods made out of a 300M material very high strength a lot of uh, high-end dirt track uh, builders use these rods so they're really good for road race and circle track and that sort of thing i'm going to be aiming since uh, this honda rod journal is a uh, about a 1888 um, journal diameter we're going to be aiming for about two thousandths with a coated bearing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this calico, uh, just a standard bearing. It's not an X, it's not a one under, so we'll start with these and uh, get this rod torqued up and see where it puts us on clearance. All right, so when using a stretch gauge, uh, you, first you measure the, the length of the bolt. Um, we're not actually measuring a length. What we're doing is we're sitting, setting our gauge to zero at an untorqued length and then when we go back and when we torque our bolt 
we'll use uh, the, the same stretch gauge and the same um, layout the way that it's measuring here and we're going to be looking for somewhere between five and five thousandths and five thousandths and four tenths so um, I've got our gauge zeroed on an untorqued bolt and I'm going to run these bolts up and um, I'll check one at a time but we're going to start at uh, 60 pound feet of torque and check our bolt stretch so at 60 pound feet we have about four thousandths and two tenths stretch so i'm going to loosen these up and we're going to go to 65 and see where that puts us 65 pound feet this is about four thousandths and six tenths okay so this is with our torque wrench set at 70 we are at five thousandths um since they give us a torque range of 60 to 70 and we are in the spec the stretch uh spec range uh, it's actually maybe i don't know five thousandths and a tenth or so um i'm going to call it quits there so knowing that uh this will be where i aim for torque later on about 70 pound feet uh, I'll make that notation, and now I will go ahead and check our bearing clearance with this H bearing, the standard bearing, no X, no 1, and uh, see what kind of clearance that puts us at. All right, so with the standard bearing, uh, we're coming up with 1,007 tenths on clearance. Um, that's a little bit on the tight side for, for what I want to do for this. So I'm going to check... Uh, a standard on one side and an X on the other. I kind of have a feeling that that's going to give us too much. Uh, so what we may have to do is just go back with the standards and then polish a couple of tenths um, off of off of the raw journals to get us the clearance that we need. So I'm going to take a second and break this apart, put another bearing half in, torque it back up, and check the clearance again. All right, so we got a half-half bearing pair in there of a standard and an X. And just as I suspect, uh, suspected, it would, it came up at two thousandths and two-tenths bearing clearance. So that would be good for a small block Chevrolet rod journal or a big block Chevrolet rod journal, but uh, a little bit on the loose side for um, especially what we're dealing with. This will not be a tremendously high horsepower engine. And it's a billet crank, so everything's nice and stout and rigid. The block is aftermarket. It'll be stout and rigid. So we can get away with, um, uh, you know, a little tighter bearing clearance. So what I'll probably end up doing is just uh, polish a couple of tenths off of the rod journals before we do uh, assembly and when the crank gets balanced. So I'm going to go ahead and order up some, some standard uh, H bearings uh, to use on this. I'll go ahead and get seven extra pair and that will set us, set us in good shape for for this build. I know this wasn't a long video but it's just a kind of a glimpse inside of what we have to do to get bearing clearances right and what we have to do in order to uh, fulfill the manufacturer's instructions of using what torque spec and what tool to use to torque the rod bolts, that sort of thing, and to check our measurements. But um, this is going to be an awesome build. I can't wait to get started on it. Unfortunately, we'll, we are a little bit down the road. Uh, TND will be making the rocker arms for the tunnel port race heads, and they quoted me, I think, 20 weeks to get those done. So, uh, like everything else, we just kind of have to be patient and wait. But um, I got a lot of stuff other bills to keep me busy. I just wanted to go ahead and do some pre preliminary checking and, and get some parts on the shelf in case uh, parts are in high demand right now. Um, I think I've done three videos this weekend, so hopefully that uh, adds to uh, <laughs> to the Ford excitement on, on YouTube, and I um, hope you guys enjoy the videos. I appreciate your comments and, and everything that you say, and I uh, hope you're having a good weekend. Talk to you soon.